And while China has sentenced the scientists who claim to be behind the world's first gene-edited babies to three years imprisonment for illegal medical practice. He Zhangkui, who shocked the world last year by developing twins with altered genes to confer immunity to HIV, has been charged with 3 million yuan as fine. Chinese media reported that Shenzhen's court has sentenced him for illegally carrying out gene-edited reproduction of the human embryo. In November last year, Jiang Kui announced the birth of the twin girls who were born the same month he altered some genes to prevent HIV transmission under a newly invented technique of CRISPR. This was placed under the radar of police investigation and his research work was also stopped. Gene modification for reproductive purposes is banned in most of the countries. China issued a regulation to prohibit gene editing of human embryos. However, it can be used for non-reproductive purposes. And, and talk about your responsibility towards the future. And moving on now, a blast has hit a military graduation parade in Yemen's southern province of Al Dalhia. According to witnesses, the blast occurred near an elevated viewing platform during the parade. The blast has caused dozens of injuries and killed at least five. Witnesses claimed seeing bodies in the scene of the blast. Till now, no one has claimed responsibility for the attack. The town of Al Dahia is controlled by a southern separatist group supported by the United Arab Emirates to fight against the Yemen's Iran-aligned Houthi group. Yemen has suffered from conflict since the ousting of President Abdul Rabu Mansur Hadi in 2014 by the Houthi rebels, and this brought military intervention by Saudi-led coalition backed by the UAE to restore Hadi's government. While the United States and the Somalian government have hit back after the horrendous car bomb explosion that claimed the lives of around 80 people in Mogadishu, the Africa Command of the U.S. military announced that it had conducted three airstrikes on Al-Shabaab terrorists in Somalia. Four terrorists have reportedly been neutralized in the operation. The strikes were carried out in coordination with the government of Somalia and comes days after the bomb blast in the Somalian capital. The city of Mogadishu was rocked by a massive bomb blast on Saturday and close to 80 people lost their lives in the attack. But so far, no terror group has claimed responsibility, which includes Al-Shabaab. But Somalia's president, Mohammed Abdullah, blamed Al-Shabaab for the explosion. In the past, Al-Shabaab has attacked Mogadishu on multiple occasions, but back in 2011, they were driven out of the capital. However, they continue to have a strong presence in the countryside. Attacking security posts and high-profile targets has become the modus operandi of Al-Shabaab group.